Okay, so here we're looking at the bottom of our XPS M1730 again. Um, we've got a screw right there. It's got a little padlock sign next to it. Uh, this particular one screw releases the optical drive. So if you, for example, most people at the moment are going for a DVD rewriter drive uh, because the Blu-ray drive is quite expensive, Although we have a, a Blu-ray drive with the system here, I'm just going to show you how to remove the optical drive from the system so that if you ever do upgrade to a, a Blu-ray drive in the future as the prices drop, uh, you can easily replace the optical drive. As I said, it's just the one screw. It's got a little padlock next to it. So if we just release that screw, Right, once we've released that screw you'll find a little there's a little notch on the inside which you'll clearly see at the bottom of your XPS just put your screwdriver in there and move move that notch along a little bit you'll start to see the drive come out at the side and there you go the drive's been released just a standard uh, a standard uh, optical a laptop optical drive same kind of shape as uh, what you get in most latitudes and insprums um, so there we go, so that's the drive released. To put the drive back in, you just slide it into the side, push it right across as far as it will go, and then just replace the screw. There we go, once the screw is back in place, that should drive fitted in nice and securely. You start up the operating system, there's nothing to install, your operating system will pick up whichever driver it is and install the default drivers for it. If you want to install the drivers for any particular software such as Roxio or Nero, you can go ahead straight after. A uh, good idea to, when you restart, have a look in the BIOS, make sure the optical drive is being picked up correctly. That should show you in the BIOS whether it's a Blu-ray drive or a DVD writer and so on. Uh, but that's quick and easy steps on how to upgrade the optical drive in your Dell XPS M1730.